Greetings, dear family. I will confess to you, brothers and sisters, that I did a big no-no the other day, and the Lord was swift to correct me. I was in real estate for the majority of my professional career, and I was uploading a new message, and bam, I spied a short video on a home tour I had been wanting to see because I recalled years ago when this particular Beverly Hills home had been purchased and the renovation started. Now my flesh wanted to view the end result. The beautiful furniture, the high-end finishes, and the gorgeous landscaping. I knew it would be spectacular and did a mental override blocking out the voice telling me not to watch this video. Too late. I watched the video and felt very bad afterwards having let the Lord down. I repented for offending him and being disobedient. The enemy is always looking for ways to trip us up. I sat still for a while and heard these words spoken very gently but with great authority. Live simply and love deeply. I waited a while longer but was met with silence. So I went to the Bible and opened to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with these we will be content. I said, Okay, Jesus. I'm listening. He began speaking. Your mission here on earth is not to live your best life here, but to prepare to live your best lives in heaven. It is imperative that you continually keep this in the forefront of your mind as you move through your daily lives. Simplifying and removing the clutter out of your frantic, hectic, and busy lives here on earth will allow you to focus on your missions and values as you wait for your true home in heaven. Here I'd like to chime in and add, we should ask ourselves, do we have affection for our things? An emotional pull to attach ourselves to items that we possess? Are we placing value on our stuff because they bring us some measure of satisfaction or purpose? I know I did before the Lord called me out of the world to the refuge, showing me if I walked away from my possessions and gave generously to the poor, I would participate in the bearing of good fruit for his kingdom and that my reward would be eternity with Jesus, who is our true treasure. The Lord continued, you didn't want to answer my calling you to the mountain, Elizabeth, until I told you that if you didn't go, I would give this work to another. That's true. He tapped right into my competitive nature. And then by the end of the following month, I was driving to New Mexico. I did enjoy lighting a fire under you, he quipped, and I knew you would eventually respond. My people, what you store up in this world has no value whatsoever. It will someday be destroyed because it lacks eternal value. Prayer, trust, and hope will draw you and your family closer to me. Simplicity clears the clutter of the world from your lives and helps you focus on your mission to gain heaven and glorify your God. No matter where you are in life, slowing things down allows you to find contentment with where I have called you all to be in the present moment. Removing clutter from your lives can be material, mental, or simply your worldly expectations. In Luke 12:15, we read, And he said to them, 
take care and be on your guard against all covetedness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possession. Lord, how do we accomplish simplifying our lives? He replied, Reevaluate how you are spending your time and revise your thinking by aligning your thoughts with my thoughts. My spirit will readjust your mindset so you will have a desire to clean up, organize, cut out the non-essentials, and most importantly, have time to show love to your God and to others. All you need to do is ask, and we will help you. Learn to abide by what I offer and not what the world offers. Love is at the very heart of my word. On the cross, I initiated gifts of new hearts and to transform you all into givers of love. We pour our love into you so that you may pour it out onto others. My calling for you, dear ones, is to seize hold of an all-embracing love with your hearts, your souls, and with all that you possess. This love will spill out from your hearts and into your actions, words, how you treat one another, your perception, and envelop your entire being. When you feel this, then you will know great eternal joy. Amen. God bless you, dear family, and may the love of God resound in our hearts, magnify His greatness, and be found in all of our words and actions.